Hey, I heard you took care of Rook. Pretty impressive. Let me show you my investigative abilities. Then you'll be really impressed. Oh, I'm sure I would. But I just don't date my customers, especially ones with no money. Hey, I don't like being broke. Why don't you lay off the insults and help me find some work? Sorry, Dex. Look, I'm just kidding ya. You know, I'll tell you if I hear of anything. I'd appreciate it. So, is there something you came to ask me about? He's only been here a few weeks, and I don't know much about him. Wish I could help you there, Tex. Apparently, it's a real hot item. The top commodities dealer in the city is named Franco Franco. He probably either has the statuette or knows who has it. I don't know how you're going to find him, but if you do, be careful. Murphy, guess what? We got the guy who robbed those pawn shops. Turned himself in. Can you believe it? Kept babbling some about a clown coming back from the dead to haunt him. <laughs> Congratulations, Mac. Maybe now your hemorrhoids will calm down. You're a real joker. But not even you can ruin my day. So what do you want? Meek's a real valuable contact on the street, but he doesn't come cheap. Sorry, Murphy. Can't help you with that. Jeez, Tex, you think I know about everything? He's a big time crook. Deals with stolen and illegally imported merchandise, especially Jade. Sorry, Murphy. What else can I help you with, Murphy? I don't know anything about that. 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 Big time crook. Deals with a lot of uh, smuggled artifacts and the like. He's pretty well connected with the mob and black market here in San Francisco. You know, I subscribe to a trade paper called Jewelry Weekly. In the last issue, it seems to me I saw an advertisement by someone named Franco, who was looking to buy jade. There wasn't anything of interest in the trade paper, so I threw it out. It's probably still in the trash can out back. This must be the trade paper Rook mentioned.
Being a movie buff, I've heard of the Alhambra Theater, though I heard it was closed down years ago. Sure enough, it's boarded up, but one of the back doors is unlocked. As soon as I step inside, two lugs the size of refrigerators grab me. I tell them that I have something for Mr. Franco and one of them walks off. He comes back a minute later and escorts me into the main theater. A Buster Keaton flick is playing. The place is empty except for a man sitting by himself near the front of the theater. Welcome, Mr. Murphy. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Franco. Tell me, do you do most of your business in dark theaters? How and where I do my business is not your concern, Mr. Private Eye. As I'm sure you know, I'm strictly a legitimate businessman. Yeah, of course you are. But I'm not interested in your business dealings. I'm interested in some information you can give me. I'm glad to hear you say that. People who pry into my dealings have a way of ending up at the bottom of the bay. Believe me, I've never met you. In fact, I've never even heard of you. Excellent. Now for our transaction. You have the item? Ah, a lovely specimen. It will make a fine addition to my collection. Now, I will answer one question to the best of my knowledge. There's a statuette in the shape of a bird that recently came onto the market. You know who has it? Hmm, I know the statuette you're referring to. There were several bidders for it. But I believe it ended up in the hands of Eddie Ching. I can say no more about it. There, now I've fulfilled my part of the bargain. Don't contact me again. Unless, of course, you find another fine piece of jade. You know the way out. You have a fax. You have a fax. A fax addressed to Tex Murphy from Franco Franco. Again, eh, Murphy? What can I help you with? Ching's a dangerous customer. He's responsible for half the crime in the city. Pretty sure he owns the police commissioner. We've been told to lay off him. That place is home to more major crime figures than any other place on the planet. Eddie Ching lives there on the entire top floor. 